So so far we have we have used around uh, 50 uh, patients already, and based on the preliminary start, uh, the results, and uh, we found uh, you know the mortality uh, for the patients uh, using uh, vitamin C is around uh, 24 uh, percent. Uh, while the mortality uh, from the control group is the thirty-five uh, percent, uh, decreased the, the IL six level compared to the uh, control group, uh, significantly uh, decreased the uh, mechanical the, the, the duration of the mechanical ventilation. This is not the virus that's hurting the host, it's the acute inflammatory dysregulated response. That's why you need to use vitamin C and steroids. If you look at the Shanghai guideline, they did three things. They gave heparin, they gave vitamin C, and they gave steroids. I mean, seeing what vitamin C could do, I decided to start giving vitamin C very early. Let's say you are a patient that comes to me with, uh, with shortness of breath and an abnormal CT scan like the ones that has circulated among some of us. And that is the moment when I put you in my, my intermediate unit and I start you on, on, on the cocktail. And you know, we've had several variations of what we have done for the cocktail. I have not had a single death, not one death. And, you know, and I'm getting slammed with four to five patients uh, with unit minimum. I mean, you don't need to sell me the vitamin C thing. I mean, I know it works. Intravenous vitamin C, intravenous ascorbic acid, along with corticosteroids, given at the right time, not for mild illness. This is for when the uh, the oxygen is, is dropping, the, 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 the virus is essentially taking over the lungs, a, a massive inflammatory response is occurring, and, and it needs to be done extremely expeditiously within hours, if possible, of presentation to emergency rooms. When a person starts to have sore throat or uh, nose running, uh, he or she should start take uh, uh, regular vitamin C, for example, one gram per every hour. I take one gram of vitamin C twice a day to support my general and immune health, and one gram an hour if I get any symptoms of a cold. I've rarely suffered for more than 24 hours, never taken a day off work. In 1976 to 1977, when another swine flu epidemic is expected, it is especially important that everyone know that he can protect himself to a considerable extent against the disease and its consequences by the use of this important nutrient, vitamin C.